Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna share with you why it's beneficial to soak your beans before cooking them in an Instant Pot. And the reason why I'm making this video is that I recently bought an Instant Pot and I've been super blown away by it. I've been having a ton of fun with it. And I see a lot of videos out there of people showing how you can cook beans without soaking them before. So maybe doing a pre-soak or basically just cooking them because it's a pressure cooker so you don't really have to soak the beans to actually get them cooked. But in reality, it is actually really beneficial, easy, and much better if you do soak the beans before. And the reason why is that beans, same as nuts and seeds, they have enzyme inhibitors and different compounds in them that make them very difficult to digest if you don't soak them before. And the reason why is that they need these enzyme inhibitors in different compounds to ensure that they won't sprout at an inopportune time causing them to die. So you want to soak them before so that they can actually be easier to digest. Now I know that, that sounds kind of crazy and difficult to do, but it's actually super simple. So as you're seeing in the b-roll that I'm playing right now, I'll link them below, but I have these really simple sprouting lids that have mesh in them and then they have uh, basically a structure on there that allows you to turn it upside down and have it stand on its own when you're draining them. So what I'll do is basically the night before, about 24 hours before, if I decide, hey, I want to cook beans tomorrow night, I will put the amount of dried beans that I want to in a mason jar, I'll fill up the rest with really high quality water and then I'll toss it in the fridge. And you want to fill up at least double the amount of water compared to how many dried beans there are because the beans are going to grow a lot. So after about 24 hours, you can do it the morning before and soak them for eight hours. When you take them out of the fridge, they are going to be much greater in size. They're going to have grown a lot. And then you just want to rinse them out and let them drain. And that's literally all you have to do. Then you toss it in the Instant Pot and depending on the kind of bean that you have, they'll cook between five and eight or five and 10 minutes. And so it cooks dramatically faster than if you didn't soak them. And so what I'm trying to prove to you is that soaking is actually really easy, really simple. It just requires a little bit of forethought and you're gonna have beans that are much easier to digest and that are gonna cook much faster. And so one reason why I've been so excited about these beans and cooking them in an Instant Pot is that I've been going to you know, really good grocery stores, going to the bulk sections, and buying just these beautiful, colorful, multicolored like heirloom beans um, that are just incredible. I've been soaking them, I've been cooking them, and what's really cool is that if you do the math, um, if you cook, I, I'll usually do uh, two cups of dried beans when I make them in an Instant Pot, and for each cup of dried beans, it's about 700 calories depending on the type of bean that you're using. So two cups is about 1400 calories and that usually costs me around a dollar and 50 cents. So then after that, I'll go ahead and toss it in an awesome salad and that is to me the epitome of a super healthy, affordable, easy to do meal. So guys, I hope this video was beneficial. If you want the links for the sprouting lids and for the Instant Pot, it's in the description below. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe if you're interested in videos about spirituality, health, minimalism, and discovering your highest potential. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Ciao.